Another day, another direct connection between Trump and the Kremlin vis-a-vis -vis the 2016 election. This time it has to do with that Russian lawyer, Natalia Veselnitskaya, also a story that did not get the attention it deserved yesterday because of Donald Trump's uh, bogus fake crisis immigration border wall address to the nation. So let's reset. Remember that Trump Tower meeting, which at first supposedly didn't happen. Then it happened, but it was all about adoptions. Then it happened and it was about dirt on Hillary but they didn't get the dirt and there was no follow up. Then we found out there was follow up, but Trump knew nothing about the meeting. And most recently we heard allegations that actually Trump did know about the meeting all along before, during and after when it took place. So the news is all about Natalia Veselnitskaya. She is the Russian lawyer who was part of that meeting, sort of the key player in that meeting. She has now been charged in a separate case, not for her involvement in that meeting. Uh, she has been charged because of a um, not not for meeting with the Trump family members and Kushner and whoever else offering dirt on Hillary. She was charged for an unrelated case because of her involvement with individuals tied to the Kremlin. And what's relevant about this is that the charges detail how she has connections to the Russian Kremlin. And indeed, they are very close connections. That's another defense that we heard from deniers many times, which was, OK, uh, she's a Russian lawyer. She offered dirt on Hillary. She wasn't tied to Vladimir Putin or the Kremlin or functioning in any way that could be associated with being any kind of official capacity. Well, she's now been charged federally in the state of New York for trying to thwart an earlier Justice Department investigation into money laundering that involved an influential Russian businessman and his investment firm. And what we learned from those filings is that Veselnitskaya is tied to a company called Prevazon Holdings. The owner of Prevazon Holdings is Denis Katsiv. And Veselnitskaya's involvement was specifically working with senior Russian prosecutors to draft misleading documents relating to the case. She's now believed to be back in Russia. Of course, this again raises the question of who was she representing when she met with the Trump campaign, with Trump Jr. and Kushner and everybody else who was in the room, who, who was she representing when she said, I've got dirt on Hillary that can help you defeat her? At this point, it is impossible to believe that she was merely a private lawyer. You would have to be willfully ignorant or deliberately blind to not believe that she was representing someone. And there's another really important element to this. A lot of the work that Natalia Veselnitskaya was doing was drafting documents for cases related to money laundering of Russian money through New York City real estate. That just so happens to be exactly what we suspect Donald Trump has been helping Russians do for decades. My guess, Pat, is that Mueller is all over this and that if there are connections between this and Trump or his campaign, that they will eventually be incorporated into Mueller's investigation, which, as I told you, has now been extended by potentially up to six months. But yet another one of those boxes being checked, yet another one of the defenses we heard months ago debunked and shown to be completely baseless. And it, even if it doesn't relate directly to the Trump Russia scandal, it still hurts Natalia Veselnitskaya's credibility. It's hard to believe that she is on her own time out there committing crimes, money laundering, all these other financial crimes. And yet when she was uh, working with or at least speaking to members of the Trump campaign, she put that life of crime aside and just wanted to do it. Everything straightforward, play by the book. It, it doesn't make sense. It's just not a believable narrative, big picture, no question about it. Now, will she ever, <laughs> will there be consequences for Natalia Veselnitskaya? We don't know. Again, reportedly she's back in Russia. Russia, not surprisingly, does not extradite to the United States of America. So we will see what ultimately happens. But it is yet another baby step closer to, yes, this is a Kremlin tied person who was formally offering things of value to Donald Trump detrimental to his opponent. Once again, the lies that we were told by the Trumpist defenders crumbling every single day.